Hi there, and welcome to 10.6 Consulting. Today we're going to look at adding activities in Primavera P6. Activities are added to the project using the Activities view. The Activities view is the one you will use most frequently during the planning and execution phases of the project. Upon clicking the Activities button, you are presented with a layout made up of three main areas the Activity Table area, the Gantt Chart area, and the Activity Details area at the bottom. In the Activity Table, you can see the WBS elements you created in the previous lesson displayed as color-coded rows. Each color represents a different level of the WBS. The first step is to start adding activities below each of the WBS elements to build out your schedule. Watch now as we enter a new activity. First, you need to select the WBS under which you wish to create your activities. For this project, the first activity will be a start milestone. It's located directly below the top level WBS element, New Home Construction there are a couple of different ways to add an activity. The first option is to click the Add button on the right-hand toolbar. This will open the new activity wizard. In the Activity Name dialog, you can enter an activity ID and a name. P6 has already offered a suitable activity ID of A1000 for this activity. So, we'll just add the name in the first dialog. We will call this activity Notice to proceed. We'll then click the Next button, which takes us to the Work Breakdown Structure dialog. As we already selected the required WBS before we opened the wizard, it is correctly showing New Home Construction as the WBS element. We could change it here by clicking on the Ellipse button, but as it's correct, we'll just click Next. In the Activity Type dialog, we can select the type of activity we wish to create. By default, P6 is offering to create the activity as a task-dependent activity type. We need to change this to Start Milestone. By clicking on the drop-down list, we see there are six options. Finish Milestone, Level of Effort, Resource Dependent, Start Milestone, Task Dependent, and WBS Summary. We'll select the Start Milestone from the list and then click Next. In the Dependent Activities dialog, we could start to define the activity's relationship to other activities in the project. However, at this stage, there are no other activities in the project, so we'll just be clicking Next here. In the More Details dialog, it is possible to start adding such items as project expenses, activity codes, and work products and documents to our new activity. However, this will not be applicable at this time. Any of these items can be added at any time going forward, so again, we'll just click the Next button. When we get to the Congratulations dialog, Clicking Finish will terminate the wizard and leave us with our new milestone activity in the schedule. In the Gantt chart, we can see our milestone represented as a diamond sitting on the planned start date for the project. Let's see that process again as we add a second activity to the schedule. This time, however, we will use the right-click method to create the activity. With the Notice to Proceed activity still selected, we right-click in the table area. In the resulting menu, we select the Add option. A new activity row appears in the table. When we use the right-click method to add an activity, we bypass the new activity wizard. We'll show you how to toggle off the new activity wizard shortly, as this is how most seasoned P6 schedulers run the tool. Again, P6 has created an activity ID, so all we need to do is enter a name, which in this case is Project Start. This is another Start Milestone, so where do we change the activity type now that we bypass the new activity wizard? The answer is to use the General tab in the bottom layout area and change the activity type setting there. 
Again, we will change it to Start Milestone. If you'd like to learn more about Primavera P6, then 10.6 offers some great online training courses. These courses are written by industry experts and offer you all the skills you need to get up and running as a P6 scheduler. For more information, visit our website at 10.6.com for full details on how to get started.